Hello YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very interesting video for you. This is an experiment. Now, you know how we've all have seen those um, biodegradable bags made from corn? I've developed an experiment to test that. What I have going on here is I have three jars. The first jar will be filled with mud and then a piece of the plastic bag. Second jar as I have here has a substrate and it's filled with fresh water in the plastic bag. Third jar will be filled with live sand, the plastic bag, and salt water. And my experiment is designed to one, see if it really is biodegradable. Two, if it is, how long does it take to biodegrade? And three, which environment does a bag biodegrade faster in? Either the fresh water, the salt water, or the mud, basically. Hold on, and I will be right back with the salt water jar filled up. Hi guys, I'm back. And this time, I have my jar filled with salt water and live sand. Now, when I say salt water, I, you may be thinking, oh, it's just water with salt in it, correct? You just put tap water and put salt in it. That is not true. <laughs> This is um, salt, real ocean water. It's by a country uh, company called Real Ocean, and I have live sand in here, real live sand, um, with bacteria culture the same as the water. Um, now you may be thinking, well, this puts it at an unfair advantage against here. Well. The substrate here is designed for plants and freshwater aquariums. As you can see, I have the substrate in my freshwater nano tank. Um, and this has helped this plant grow huge. It's gotten really big. And because it has bacteria and minerals in it already. So it acts as a live sand like this, but for freshwater. And the water, we know tap water has bacteria already in it. As for the mud, I'll be right back, and um, with that filled up, so stay tuned. Now, I have every jar filled up. Now, let's go through them, just so you guys all know. In our first jar, we have our bag with um, dried... Miracle grow soil, but highly saturated with water. Okay, so th that has equal chance as any of the others by back um, microbiologically because you have soil in there, which, as we all know, contain a lot of bacteria and water in there. Misted it, so that will create a greenhouse effect, which will create fungus and all these other lovely things, all these other lovely microbes to grow in here. Next, as I said before, we have our um, fresh water. So, in here we have our bag, our supposedly biodegradable bag, and our active fresh, um, our active aquarium gravel, our live aquarium gravel for fresh water. And, um, then over here we have our final one, we have our plastic bag in here, it's a little hard to see because the water is cloudy, in salt water and live sand at the bottom. Now, just to make assure all you guys, all of these came from the same source. This bag that I got in Texas when I went there on vacation this past week, that is supposedly biodegradable. As you can see on the front, it says Certified compostable or compostable. Um, so we'll see. I mean, that says compost, uh, compostable. Just so that's why I added the soil in there in in the hopes that that will act as that. And I mean, see, right on the front here. Uh, let's look close. Bio bag here. It's flattened it out so you guys can see. Bio bag. Um, 
apparently made from corn. Um, so, and it feels like any other regular plastic bag, so it will be interesting to see which one breaks down fastest. So, if it was biodegradable, I think maybe in like three weeks, four weeks, it'd be broken down. Um, we'll see. I mean, I'll, I had a date set for the next five months, um, but, um, you know, if, if they decay earlier, I don't know, but over the next months, over the next few months, um, I'll check them out and see if there's any progress on them breaking down, and make sure to at the end of this entire experiment, make sure to go to my YouTube channel because there will be a full time lapse about this with this video in it. Um, there will be a full time lapse. Um, so, and at the very end, I'll document it. So, thanks for watching, guys. This is day one of the experiment. See you later. At the very end of this experiment, guys, I will. Um, look at each sample of water under my microscope, which is right here. Um, and if there's any bag or residue left, I'll look at that under the microscope. And I'll make sure to put those pictures in for you at the very end, along with um, the time lapse. Um, so, and I will also send you the final pictures, or I'll also post the final pictures on Google Plus at the very end, along with the time lapse on both Google Plus and YouTube. Um, okay. um, have a great day, and make sure to watch out in the next couple weeks to a couple months for this time lapse on both Google Plus and YouTube. And thanks for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe.